For the second time in four months, a CBS4 investigation shows an Aurora police officer driving to work while apparently under the influence. But once again, the officer never faced a DUI charge. You might remember the first officer, Nate Meyer, was found drunk on duty and behind the wheel of an Aurora police car, but he never faced a DUI case. Well, now CBS4 investigator Brian Moss revealing the second case. Brian? Well, Officer Annette Brooke appears to have driven uh, drunk to work back in early December, but her Aurora police supervisors never pursued a DUI case, and the chief says they were following rules which have now been changed. It is hard for the public to hear facts like this and not think that there is a second standard that exists for people in uniform versus outside of uniform. District Attorney George Brockler on this CBS4 investigation into Aurora police officer Annette Brook. Photos show her driving to and arriving at work last December at about 8 in the morning. But an hour after arriving at the Aurora Police District 3 station, a sergeant suspected she had been drinking and she was given a breath test. It came back at .138, nearly twice the legal limit for DUI. She was also under the influence of a controlled substance used to treat insomnia. Should this have been treated as a criminal DUI case? I believe it should have been. But that's not what happened. Instead, Aurora police began an internal affairs investigation, which went nowhere because Annette Brooke later resigned, so she never faced any consequences. Does this appear, again, to be preferential treatment? I think this person got treated more favorably by the system than you or I would have been treated coming in off the street. I believe that. Again, uh, moving forward, that's not going to be the case. Interim Aurora Police Chief Vanessa Wilson says officers were following directives in place at the time. She has now changed those standards. From here on out, we will definitely not be making those mistakes. If you're a member of the public who wants to find reasons to question how Aurora polices itself, this is another example that makes you scratch your head and say, what's going on? When this happened in December, Brooke was facing another DUI case from earlier in the year, but she pleaded guilty on that one and was sentenced without the district attorney ever knowing about this new case. The DA says he would have presented this information at sentencing and Brooke might have gotten a harsher sentence. Annette Brooke's lawyer declined to comment on this report. So another problem for the Aurora Police Department to deal with here. A busy year for that department. It certainly has been. Thanks, Brian. Yeah.